I want to talk to us about being approved by God. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 18. For not he who commends himself is approved, but whom the Lord commends. So what Paul is saying is, look, if you commend yourself and you pat yourself on your back and say, look, I'm doing a great job. I'm doing such a wonderful job. That doesn't mean anything, he says. But it's the, the real approval that comes from God. It's the commendation that comes from God. Is That's what we want. And, and uh, all of us, I'm sure, desire that. We want God's approval on our lives. And so I want to share some thoughts uh, along those lines today. Now, before we talk about, you know, what is it going to take for us to be approved by God, to receive that, you know, that, that well done, good and faithful servant uh, commendation from God, I want to mention three things that we must avoid as ministers of God and as people of God. All of us are serving God in one way or another. And so these three things will apply to all of us. Three things to avoid. First of all, you know, we must avoid the delusion of self-approval. Paul just, we just read that in 2 Corinthians 10 and verse 18. And I like to read that same verse from the Good News Bible. It puts it like this, for it is when the Lord thinks well of us that we are really approved and not when we think well of ourselves. So we must avoid the delusion of self-approval. It is true that uh, we need to have a good self-image. We need to feel good about ourselves. Uh, you know, we need to think positive of ourselves and all of that is important. We're not denying that. But when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, in approving ourselves, we've got to be careful. What's really important to us is receive a well done from God and not a well done from ourselves. We don't need to commend ourselves, but we must look for how God, what God has to say about our lives. So I want to challenge you and me uh, to pursue authenticity. Uh, be authentic, be genuine. And you know, authenticity begins in your own heart. It begins by you being true to your own self. The second thing that you and I must avoid is avoid the delusion of comparison. For we dare not class ourselves or compare ourselves with those who commend themselves. And as we're not here to com compare ourselves with people who are approving themselves. No, he says, but they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. So when people fall into this trap of comparison, they're comparing themselves among each other and feeling good that they're slightly better than the other. And he says, you know, they're not being wise. They're not doing the right thing. And so we must, uh, Avoid this delusion. And the third thing to avoid is avoid the delusion of man's approval. You know, uh, it is true we must be open to feedback, to what people say about us. And people may have, you know, inputs that are very valuable. They may correct us where we are wrong. Uh, they may help us see our blind spots, uh, and look into areas that we may have neglected. So we must listen uh, when people speak into our lives, especially those who sincerely care about us. But on the other hand, we must be careful that we don't live for the approval of men. We must live for the approval of heaven and not the applause of men. You and I must prove ourselves to be authentic ministers of Jesus Christ. And if you study this passage, 2 Corinthians 6, 3 to 10, what you see is that Paul says that we must prove ourselves authentic in three different situations. One, he talks about in situations, that means what we go through. Uh, and secondly, he talks about by, that means our lifestyle. We prove ourselves uh, through the things we go through, the situations we go through. We prove ourselves to be authentic by the lifestyle we live. And we prove ourselves authentic in spite of that means the reputation of what people say or think about us. So what are, you know, what are God's standards? First of all, God looks at the motivation of our hearts. Second important thing is, are you faithful in what God has assigned to you? Thirdly, are you being fruitful in what God has given to you? Fourthly, are you operating by faith? And lastly, are you living for what is eternal, for what is unseen? See, that, that wins God's approval. How can you know that you are having God's approval on your life as you're journeying through your ministry? I'll give you four things. Number one is this, that there is a flow of grace, gifts, and anointing that changes lives. Secondly, 
There's honor that comes from God. Third thing, there's increase that comes from God. And the fourth sign of God's approval on your life is influence that is appointed and extended by God. These are four signs that, that you know that you're walking approved by God and these will continue to increase in your life. So watch out for these signs. So ask, live by God's plumb line. Ask the tough questions that I've presented before you and look for these four signs of God's approval on your life.